Hello from the Laborers Health and Safety Fund of North America. I'm Emily Smith, Health Promotion Manager here at the Fund. Today I want to discuss pre-diabetes and diabetes. Sugar is a daily part of our diet and is in almost everything we eat. It can also show up in unexpected places like salad dressings, bread, and tomato sauce. All that sugar has an effect on our blood sugar and over time can lead to pre-diabetes and diabetes. How likely are you to have pre-diabetes? You may be at risk if you are overweight, have high blood pressure, have a family history of type 2 diabetes, do not engage in physical activity, had gestational diabetes while pregnant, or were 45 years of age or older. Approximately 1 in 3 American adults have pre-diabetes, where blood sugar levels are higher than normal, but not high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes, and more than 80% of those adults don't know it. Pre-diabetes puts you at increased risk for developing type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. One of the ways pre-diabetes is diagnosed is with a fasting blood sugar test, where a blood sample is taken after you fast for at least 8 hours. 13% of all U.S. adults have been already diagnosed with diabetes, and almost 35% meet the criteria. Starting screening at age 35, even if people don't yet show symptoms for pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes, allows for earlier detection, diagnosis, and treatment. Being active, managing your weight, and eating healthy are always recommended for a long and healthy life, but are especially important if you're at increased risk for diabetes. Regular physical activity, like a 30-minute brisk walk most days of the week, can lower your risk. If you are overweight, losing 5-7% to of your body weight, which equates to a 10-14 to pound loss for a 200 pound person, lowers your risk as well. Eat plenty of non-starchy, leafy green vegetables, choose whole foods instead of processed foods, and limit foods with added sugars and refined grains, such as white bread, pastries, and french fries. For more information about pre-diabetes and diabetes, reach out to the Fund's Health Promotion Division or leave us a comment below. Thanks and stay safe out there.